All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another movie review. Uh, today, I will be um, talking about Croat, Frog Monster from Hell, and it says on here, also known as Rana, or Rena, the Legend of Shadow Lake. Now, first off, this is a trauma movie, trauma team release on DVD. This this uh, particular DVD is actually part of a Toxie's Triple Terror. I think this was the third one that they came out with. But uh, let's just start this off with um, the acting, the, the uh, director Bill Rabain, uh, or uh, Ar Arbane or something like that. Well, he he um, produced this, co-produced this, and directed this. And um, <laughs> the acting in here, I mean, practically every actor in this movie really didn't go on to do too many roles. I mean, there's a, there is a few, but um, um, the only thing I can say about this is the Frog Monster from Hell title, uh, that's not really what, uh, it's not really good marksmanship, advertisement, whatever you want to say. I mean, the, granted, this movie was made in the 70s. Uh, and didn't get a uh, release until 1980, 81, something like that. And uh, I mean, it definitely shows the uh, production value, the the uh, photography, uh, the music is uh, out there. Um, you guys got um, uh, the directing. I mean, Bill Rabane. I mean, a lot of people know him from 70s, 60s, and 70s movies like Monster A Go Go and Giant Spider Invasion. I mean. His movies are not the best, and they're not the most well-recognized films, but, I mean, he is um, a well-known, uh, uh, how would you say, exploitation, or um, trash, or uh, however you want to say it. But anyway, um, I've heard some reviews on YouTube about this movie, and uh, I, 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 I kind of agree with them to a certain extent, and then others, I don't really agree with it. Um, but the, yeah, the makeup, um, nothing to be desired. I mean, you don't really see the frog, human, half human, half frog monster that much in the film. I mean, and then, and the ending of the movie, I mean, pretty much leaves it open for a sequel, which you know is never going to happen. I mean, this movie was made in 75, for crying out loud. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's 41 years ago. Like, they're really going to make a sequel to a movie that wasn't even that popular to begin with. Um... And basically the plot is about, um, young, um, I believe his name was, um, what was his name? Uh, let me check here for a second. I think his name was, uh, Kelly. Yeah, his name was Kelly. Um, per, which, the, he and his girlfriend, friend, whatever, go to this cabin, and he talks about what led up to the events of the frog monster like, anyway, you know, I mean, it pr pretty much flashes back and forth every so often, but some of the stuff in the movie that he talks about, how would the young Kelly know anything about it, because he was nowhere near any of these, um, scenes. Uh, the, um, the only saving grace, I, I mean, it's not much of a saving grace, but the only thing that I could actually enjoy about this film was that if I had if I was in born in the 60s or 50s and I went on to do a movie like this in the 70s I would have made it to where you actually get to see the creature a lot more I would actually try to put a lot more uh, emphasis into the script of the movie um, the acting is not the problem I mean when when the the script is not as very well written for the actors it's not much the actors fault but, um, the only thing that I, like I said, that, that I quote unquote would actually, reason why, um, I would watch this and actually I, reason why I own this is because of the performance by Susan, who's played by an actress named Julie Wheaton. Um, uh, not only is she, uh, good to look at, but she's not that bad of an actress and for being that being her first and only film 
I mean, she definitely needs to get um, some recognition for that. Um, the other actors in the film are hit or miss. Um, you have the crazy old man named Charlie, played by Jerry Grayorth, who actually uh, produced this and I believe wrote it. So, you know, you get what you're going to get. Um, would I recommend this to people who haven't seen it? No. Uh, would I recommend it to cult fans? Possibly. Not by much, but maybe. Um, so, if, if there's anybody out there who has not seen this, or anybody out there who wants to see this, you take your own decision, and if you want to see it, see it. If you don't, don't. But, take my word for it. The cover of this, with the woman and the frog, has nothing to do with the movie. You don't see that at all. I think you might see a little frog hand come up in the, out of the water and grab a girl, but that's about it. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this uh, movie review of Rana, The Legend of Shadow Lake. That's what I like to call it, because that's what originally it was called. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.